Then let's bring you up to speed. We searched everywhere and found nothing unusual at all. Based on the previous two mirages, we should have been able to find something that acts as an entrance. Is it possible that the time has not come yet? You mean we should wait a little longer? Yes. Plus, Fischl is still nowhere to be found, and I highly suspect that she's even more eager to find the entrance than we are. So, let's wait. Let's give the mirage... no. Give Fischl some more time. There's something on the beach! A book. And next to it is... Hmm? A raven statue? This statue looks a lot like Oz. Why did these two items appear together? Did the raven bring the book here? What's the book about? Is it a diary? Let's see... Hymn of the Holy Land. I... I've never heard of a book by that title. From the cover, it looks like it was written by Fischl herself? That would certainly fit her personality. Hymn of the Holy Land. Interesting. I like it. As a title, it has a sacred ring to it. So, what should we do? Should we touch it? Fischl's still not back. Never mind. Let's head inside first. Once Fischl finds the book, I'm sure she'll be able to catch up with us. Paimon agrees! It's like we're peeping into her diary, so Paimon sure she'll want to come in and stop us. Though this truth has long faded from popular memory, scholars have long known that Prinzessin Fischl von Luftschloss Norfedort first descended upon the world during the time of chaos, roughly 600 years before the era of the saints. What? A narrator? <laughs> we really are inside a book, huh? There's even a narrator telling us the story. Oh no! The path has been cut off! We can't go across! Oh, there's a device over there that appears to be waiting for us to approach it. Is it just Paimon? Or does everything in this place seem just a little bit over-deliberate? Well, it is the Holy Land. What did you expect? Yeah, everything's so blatant. It's clearly begging to be noticed. That's our official for you. The Princessin harbored much sympathy for all living things and wished. The people celebrated and worshipped the Princessin's authority and followed her call to migrate to the sacred land that would eventually be known as the Immer Nachtreich. It really is the Immer Nachtreich. Hmm, really looks the part. I'm quite impressed.
we established a nation on the Holy Land, revered the Pinzessen as the absolute one, and introduced poetry, theater, and adventure to the kingdom, laying the groundwork for the Immer Nachtreich. When the rain finally ceased, the princessin descended from the palace steps as to allow all her retainers to behold her unparalleled glory. Someone, please help me! Uh, isn't this a statue? Please don't refer to me like that. My name is Leon, and I am a knight of the Immernoctrag. A knight? But you don't look like one. You can't tell. Anyway, please don't speak ill of Sire Osvaldo. He personally designed and distributed the armor for Dinocht Raben Ritter. Well, you must have heard that one before, surely? That was his full name, Osvaldo Hofnavines. Uh, oh, so Magistus was the easy pronunciation. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> or so it seems. Dear friends, I apologize for interrupting your lovely conversation, but I believe you haven't been informed that the gate ahead has been locked. Yep, that's news to us. 
I'm hoping you'll be kind enough to save me. And in exchange, I'll gladly teach you how to unlock the gate. Well, I guess we'll have to save you then. Valiant heroes. No words can express how grateful I feel right now. Thank you. Very much. Remember, this is the password that unlocks the gate. May my people be freed from the shackles of ancient decrees. People be freed from the shackles of ancient decrees. No rest for the wicked. The Great Secretaire, the Lords, and the devoted Nachtraben Ritter mounted the tower to pledge their allegiance to the Princessin, kissing the hem of her exquisite purple dress and taking pride in their loyalty. heard is the story from the book? So the Holy Land in the book's title refers to the Immernachreich. This book sings the praises of the Princessin from the perspective of the people in her kingdom. We're on the last page of the book, but the story doesn't seem to have ended. What happens next? Paima wants to know what happens next! I guess we'll have to keep exploring. As for this book... Wait, I have an idea. Now that we've finished it, let's close it. Huh? We've been 
transported again, but we're not back on the beach. We are somewhere in... Mondstadt. Greetings, Honorable Kaiserin Dover Ertelung. Amy, dear, I've made steak and fisherman's toast. Come on, eat up before they go cold. <sighs> Mother... Oh, look at me being so forgetful. Ahem. <clears throat> Dost thou knowest, Princess in Derverurtalang, that the hour of luncheon encroaches? Of course, Mother. Ah, behold the view from the window, a delight to the senses. Princess in Kaiserin, would you care to join the Kaiser Derver Utailang for a grand royal picnic? We shall enjoy the scenic view and partake of the delicacies granted to us by the heavens. I shall gladly join you. Uh, uh... Oh. Uh... Does anyone want to say anything about that? Okay, I'll bite. So, Amy... That's Fischl's real name? Seems like it. The other two voices were probably her mom and dad. Why are you all giving me that look? Forgive me if this comes across as rude, but is your surname truly Magistus? Huh, you think I was bluffing? My full title is and always has been Mona Magistus the Astrologist. Oh, my apologies. Don't you think that's a bit long? Well, it's a special case. Only geniuses get titles like this. Well, that makes no sense. What are your thoughts on the scenes we just witnessed? Well, it seems that closing the book is one way of affecting change in this mirage. Well, I think it's sweet that Fischl's parents are willing to play along with her. Well, they probably didn't indulge her forever. Based on the voice, this was surely a memory from her childhood. It's a different story now she's grown up. You know a lot about Fischl, Mona. After all, we've been friends for quite a while. Speaking of, I wonder where Fischl is now. That voice mentioned that she was heading out. We may as well go outside and see if we can find anything. as awful as purchasing a counterfeit astrology tutorial or realizing you've forgotten your wallet in the middle of dinner. Uh, uh, this is torture. I think they're a little bit upset. To be honest, I also don't like to read books that end on an unexpected cliffhanger. <laughs> no one likes that. <laughs> All right, let's enter the mirage again. Good idea! Let's go! Huh? We're still here. It's not working. That's odd. We were able to enter earlier, but now we can't. Why? Why are we being denied the opportunity to finish the book? This is pure sadism. Hmm. Maybe it's because we've already reached the end of this book. Before leaving the Mirage, we saw that the book had been flipped to the final page. I believe Him of the Holy Land is divided into multiple volumes. It's like one of those sneaky light novel marketing schemes. If you want to know what happens next, please buy the next volume. Ugh. I have to see the ending. Oh, oh, y yes, the ending. Everyone wants to know how the book ends. Huh? Who's there? 
Oh, oh, she, heavens above, she saw me. Stand up straight, stand up straight. You're... I'm Ask Me For Directions Arnold. That name's a little on the nose. So, Arnold, let me ask you something. It's Ask Me For Directions Arnold. So, ask me for directions, Arnold. Let me ask you something. Yes, ma'am. Are there other volumes of Hymn of the Holy Land? Where can I find them? Oh, ho, ho. you're asking the right person. Hymn of the Holy Land is the sacred scripture of the Immernachreich. There are three volumes in total, with the other two stored in two high locations in the castle. If you wish to find the second volume, you must climb to the very top floor of the tower. Tower? You mean that tower over there? That is indeed the tower where the sacred scripture is stored. If you look closely to the cave right over there, you'll find a secret passage that will swiftly take you to the tower. Okay. Thank you, Arnold. It's Ask Me for Directions, Arnold. Do you have any other questions for me, fair maiden? Concerning, perhaps, my relationship status or monthly income? No. Goodbye. Let's ignore that, Raven, and proceed. There's a secret passage in the cave ahead that leads directly to the top of the tower. Oh, oh, but, ma'am, are you sure you're not interested in me? I only shared with you the secrets of the Immernachreich because of your great... Beauty. Ma'am? Wait. No need. Why did the lady appear so irritated? Did I say something inappropriate? Oh, what must I do to win her heart? <laughs> 